Hi, Santa Barbara. My name is Daniel Zia. I am the founder and CEO of the Zia Group here with Keller Williams in Santa Barbara and Montecito. I'm joined today by Jaden Zia, our director of Gen Z, and we're doing our market update for the second week of August. Some of you might have noticed we did not uh, give a market update last week. We were traveling up in Oregon seeing family. We had a wonderful time, and uh, we're back in sunny Santa Barbara and loving being home. It always feels like we're uh, we go on vacation when we come home because Santa Barbara is. Is just so it's such a spectacular place. So we're grateful. So wanted to start off our market update a little bit differently this time. You know, we dive deep into the market statistics. We firmly believe in the power of the market statistics that they do share a story. But I think that a story is frankly even more powerful in some cases than uh, than actually the statistics are. So we're just going to share a story. Um, we brought on a, a Montecito property a couple of weeks ago. Um, this property was listed by one of the other top teams in Santa Barbara that we have a lot of respect for, but even though they're also a top team, we at the Zia Group, we still do things differently than any other agent or team in town. We've got some proprietary marketing strategies that we've developed over the last 15 years, and they make a big difference. We do almost every step of the process, just in some cases, even just a little bit different, but all these little differences, these minor changes, these minor differences in strategy and techniques um, add up to a really big, significant impact on our clients. So this other top team, had this Montecito listing for six months, had generated one offer at significantly below the asking price um, and below the seller's kind of uh, a comfort level uh, in accepting. And within a week of us getting the listing and bringing the home on the market with our proprietary marketing strategies and marketing campaigns, we had not one but three offers on the property, all at asking, uh, going up to significantly above asking with two of the three offers being all cash. You can imagine how thrilled the seller was with that outcome. So uh, hopefully that story both shares the strength of our market, but also just kind of hits home some of the differences in uh, in output and impact that we have on clients based on you know our team approach and how we do things differently. So Jaden, let's dive into the market stack now. What do you think? Yeah. So let's talk about sales activity. Jaden, uh, how many homes the last week went into escrow? 67. That's right. 67 homes went into escrow. And how does that compare if we look at it in 2019 for the same week of time? How many homes closed in 2019 for that week? 30. That's right. So 67 closed this last week, 30 closed the week before. And so the big takeaway that we want um, all the agents watching and all of our clients and just the community at large is for the last two weeks in a row, we've had over twice as many homes go into escrow compared to the two weeks uh, uh, previous in 2019. So that is sustained dramatic activity. And Jaden, I know we talk about this when there are so many sales happening, so many more sales than last year. Does that mean that prices are going up or down right now? That's right. Prices are going up right now, which means that buyers are having to pay more than last year and sellers are just delighted with their sales outcome. Uh, when one of the things that we want to talk about also here today is, uh, is what COVID is doing to us parents. Obviously, I am a parent with, uh, with a younger child. Uh, Jaden is nine. My daughter is six. And we've all been thrown for a loop. We were all hoping that our kids could go back to school. We could drop them off, have a little bit of you know free time for projects or whatever it might be. And those plans have changed. Almost every parent that Sarah and I know right now has just had this curveball of, hey, our kids can't go back to school. Or now they're going back to Zoom school. Or now, and so it's, it's even just literally like a week or two before school starts. And all of these families are completely changing plans. We're seeing, you're hearing all of these co-ops. We're seeing people do home school that never would have considered homeschool. We're seeing pods. I mean, whoever heard of like pods in school before, really before a couple months ago, but we've got these pods being created where families are, you know, kind of binding together and creating these little homeschool kind of co-ops or pods. And it's what's happening is that's actually changing the way that people live in their homes. And they're looking at their homes again and saying, hey, do we have capacity to host a co-op or host a pod? Uh, do we have the capacity? Do we have one or two Zoom rooms is a new term right now where literally parents and kids can have some privacy with closed off rooms for, for Zoom. You know, and so I think part of what we're going to see here as people start using their homes differently is one, it's creating you know, more people both buying and selling. There's just more families that are transitioning because their needs have changed. But also, even some of modern day buyer preferences might be changing here over time. So this really open layout where we just want this huge great room. 
I think some compartmentalization of spaces might actually be coming back. And it's just a trend that we might see as people want more separate rooms that can be actually be closed off with doors for privacy as more people are zooming and talking on the phone and just in the house at the same amount of time. So all that said, that's generating a lot of our activity. Now back to our stats, Jaden, let's talk uh, here about closed escrows. How many homes actually closed escrow in the last week? 56. That's right, 56 homes closed escrow. And how does that compare to last year at the same time? 34. That's right, 34 homes sold last year at the same amount of time. So we're we're not quite twice as many homes that have closed. But again, this is the sales activity from 30 to 45 days ago are now closing. Now, one of the things that we don't have to talk about is, you know, back on the market cancellations. We are seeing cancellations actually increase a little bit. Um, just just kind of anecdotally in the Zia group, we've, we've been generating so many offers and our sales prices have been going so far above the asking price. One of the things that I think are happening is buyers are realizing they have to be more aggressive with their price in terms to secure the property and then some buyers are getting a little bit of last minute buyer's remorse and so we're seeing a little bit more uh, more can risk of cancellation and so it's just it's a premium time if you're thinking about selling your home that you've got an agent or a team that's walking you through the strategy to not just generate one offer but to generate enough offers so you've got a backup offer number one and a backup offer number two so you go right into escrow and close escrow with a backup buyer one or two if your first escrow cancels we're obviously happy to talk to you about that and what that looks like, please do reach out to one of your Zia Group Realtor partners if you want to explore what that might look like. And then uh, just lastly, let's talk about inventory. Inventory levels um, are still, we, we're seeing more sellers take their homes and put them on the market to take advantage of the great sales prices and sales outcome. Jaden, tell us how many homes actually came on the market in the last week? 68. That's right, 68 homes came on the market and that's compared to 60 uh, the same week the year before. So we are seeing more homes come on the market, but again, we have over twice as many uh, uh, properties going to escrow compared to last year and just like a little over 10, 11, 12% more homes come on the market. So over twice as many and just 10, 11, 12%, we're still supply and demand gonna see really great sales prices um, uh, given that, that in, the, in the next couple weeks, next couple months. So if you thought about selling your home, please do reach out. We'll give you a free complimentary uh, consultation, talk to you about what you might be able to see in sales price and sales outcome, and then talk to you about if it makes sense to sell now or to roll the dice and sell later. Uh, ho hope you, our community, know this about us now. We're really neutral advisors and sometimes we tell clients to not buy or sell a home for years until once we know their goals and realize that it's that perfect moment in time to get the best chance of realizing their goals. So thanks for listening and watching and have a wonderful week. You want to say goodbye, Jaden? Bye. Bye, guys.